The Bechtel test, or the Mo movie measure, is a type of litmus test to assess the presence of women in movies. It originated from Alison Bechtel's comic, Dykes to Watch Out For, in 1985. Here's how it works. A movie just has to pass these three simple questions. The first, are there two or more women in it who have names? The second, do they talk to each other? And the third, do they talk to each other about something other than a man? It's quite extraordinary actually how many movies don't pass this test because it's not even a sign of whether it's a feminist movie or whether it's a good movie, just that there's female presence in it and that they actually are engaging about things other than men. To prove that this is actually a systemic problem and not just a few movies here and there, I'm going to show you a couple films that don't pass the test. You get the point. This is only just a few films out of the many films that don't pass this test. When I call it a systemic problem, what I mean by this is that it's not just a few people here and there that don't like women or don't want women's stories told, but that rather the entire industry is built upon creating films and movies that cater to and that are about men. Next time you go to the movies, just ask yourself these few questions. Are there two or more women in it and do they have names? Do they talk to each other? And do they talk to each other about something other than a man?